I'm Carlin. Uh, I went through the immersion last year, which would have been 2022, 2023. No way, me too. Hey. I am Rain. I also did the immersion in 2022 to 2023. And we are going to talk about some cool things you can use to help get a fire in a survival situation that you probably have in your backpack. For example, let's say you packed yourself a very nice lunch that included a large bag of Lay's potato chips. Uh, and you found yourself in a situation where you were cold and starting to shiver and decided that you could sacrifice one or two of these and really anything that's um oily is potentially an interesting item you just eat that we in survival situation i'm that. just trying to get some extra calories okay so that's good eat some Dual calories purpose. as well that'll <laughs> keep you warm this is great also because it acts like a flame extender like a candle and this one just so happens to come in Lay's potato chip scent. Uh, burns a lot longer than if this was just like a straight piece of potato. <laughs> piece of potato. Yeah, like, you know, it really depends on the form of potato. So, so that's burning pretty good. Okay. Now you can eat it. And then you can also <laughs> eat what's left. <laughs> Ow. Ooh. I wouldn't recommend eating the the char um that doesn't usually go down too well <laughs> oh, bless oh. you mm, do you, you need some hand sanitizer for your uh yeah that'd probably be good the germs thank you. yep thank you. that's wow you're just carrying that with you i always have hand sanitizer to keep myself safe from germs and if i'm in a survival situation now the thing to know about the sanitizer flame is it is invisible Oh, so it's there is going. actually a flame here. You may not be able to see it. You may not I can get feel picked it. up on camera, but you see, I'll put the potato chip down in there. Just remember, the hand go. sanitizer flame is a lot like love. You can't see it, but you can feel it. Did it go out? <laughs> <laughs> I think it went out. Just like love sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> DIY fire starters by taking some cotton balls. You could even use a tampon if you had one. Cover it in Vaseline. If, and if you don't want a bunch of cotton in your Vaseline, you can also <laughs> scoop it out. Put that don't on. do it that way. That also works just as an alternative method. Just. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. We're gonna light this Vaseline cotton ball on fire. And whereas wow. a cotton ball just on its own would basically just go up and burn very, very quickly, the Vaseline acts as um, you know a wax or an oil uh, would and allows it to burn for much longer. Look at the difference. To avoid burns. This one, I yeah. mean, we so could this really one's do still some burning bright, here. and this this is the cotton only ball already pretty much gone. Sticks are also <laughs> flammable. <laughs> Um, so we've got we've got some nice sticks right here, as you can see, as you might imagine, you can light a stick on fire, and then and potentially be a source of heat. You can also just use your Vaseline like dip <laughs> for the chips. Oh God! So you just it's almost like you're getting ready to eat it, but instead of like eating it like guacamole, like your Vaseline dip, and then instead of eating it, you just light it on fire. We hope this has been educational and that you can try some of these things safely uh, on your own time. And have fun. See what other cool things you can find that might be handy or nifty in a survival situation. It's cool to find your creativity. Creativity is a survival skill. But remember, fire is hot. You can get burned. <laughs> <laughs> Smoky Don't try to put out fires with your hands. <laughs>